Is the hot sellers market that we've been experiencing for almost five years now in the Your Belinda housing market finally coming to an end? That's the question that we're gonna dig into on today's episode. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Josh Alexander and host of Discover Your Belinda, your one-stop shop for all things Your Belinda, as well as your Your Belinda real estate agent. And for almost a decade now, I've been teaching both buyers and sellers how to successfully achieve their real estate goals with expert advice and proven strategies. So on today's episode, I'm going to be going over my August housing market forecast, and we're going to go over everything you know about the Your Belinda housing market and how that impacts you if you're thinking of buying or selling a home over the next couple months. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I know most of you aren't here to listen to a bunch of stats and statistics about the Your Belinda housing market. However, there's a few things you want to know so you can better understand where things are going in the Your Belinda housing market. So number one is inventory. Inventory finally passed over 100 homes this month in your Belinda. And right now we sit at 111 homes, which is a significant jump from last month, which we started at 87 homes. Now, the other important thing to know with that inventory over the last two weeks, we have seen those numbers start to plateau, which will go over exactly what that means for the housing market in a little bit. So the other two important things to know about the Yorba Linda housing market is last month, 64% of all homes sold, sold for at or above asking price. The prior month was at 62, so it actually went up a little bit. And in terms of how fast homes are selling in Yorba Linda, 65% of all the homes that sold last month went into escrow in less than two weeks, and 81% of those homes went into escrow in less than a month. And that was actually at a quicker pace than the prior month. So we saw the speed of the market heat up a little bit, especially at the beginning of July. However, over the last couple of weeks, we are starting to see a cooling trend, which is why the average days on market, which is when the seller puts the sign in the yard to when they go into escrow has increased from 21 to 28 days. However, that is still much better than the average of Orange County, which is at 35 days right now. So your Belinda's housing market is slightly faster than Orange County. And that's been a common trend throughout the entire year. Okay, so what does this all mean? Well, it basically means that the market is slowing down. So we are seeing appreciation still happen in Orange County. However, it's definitely happening at a slower pace. And that seems to be the trend month after month. On top of that, when you look at inventory, like I said before, we did see inventory go up. However, it is seeming to kind of hit a plateau right now, which is completely common. This time of year is usually when we see inventory hit the highest peak and then start going down as kids go back into school and people take their house off the market as we start entering the fall market. So if you're trying to buy a home right now, you have more options to choose from than any other time during this year so far, as well as because the market is slowing down, you are able to take a breather finally, look at homes, and you're not having to place offers right away on most homes because they're getting multiple offers. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no multiple offer situations happening out there. In fact, if you have a home that's priced at $1.5 million and below, it's move-in ready and it's priced correctly, Oftentimes you're still getting a lot of traffic through that home. You are getting multiple offers on those homes because there's just a lot of interest in that. However, as you start going in the higher price points, especially $2 million and above, or if the home needs a lot of work, we are seeing those two segments slow down more significantly right now. So really depending on the type of home you're looking for is really gonna determine how fast you need to act when you're looking at properties right now. So ultimately, no, we are not in a buyer's market right now. However, we are starting to see things cool down, making it a little bit easier every month for buyers to be able to enter the market and have enough options to choose from to find that dream home. Now, if you notice, I haven't yet talked about interest rates, and that's actually the biggest story that's been happening over the last four weeks in the housing market. In fact, I almost titled this episode, Buyers Get Your Shit Together Because Interest Rates Are Plummeting. However, because interest rates are very hard to predict, and I usually want these episodes to be relevant for at least a month, I decided not to go that route. However, what you do need to know is interest rates are definitely on the way down. Now, how fast are they dropping? Well, at the beginning of June, interest rates were at 7.51%. At the beginning of July, they were at 7.14%. And as of the time of this recording, which was August 2nd, interest rates have plummeted down to 6.4%. So they've dropped basically 1.1% in the last three months. And that is a significant decrease, which is giving some buyers more reason to hop into the market because things are actually a lot more affordable now than they were just three months ago. 
Now, one of the guidelines in real estate is every time interest rates drop by about a percent, buyer's affordability goes up by about 10%. So for instance, let's say you were trying to buy a million dollar home back in the beginning of June. Well, to keep that same payment today, you'd be able to afford a home that was $1.12 million or a little bit more than 10% more than you could just three months ago, which is a pretty significant change in affordability considering that home prices haven't dropped yet either. Now let's say you're less concerned about the price of the home and you're more concerned about the monthly payments. Well, if you were to buy that million dollar property at the beginning of June, your monthly payment with principal and interest would be right around $6,299. However, if you wanted to buy that same million dollar home today, your monthly payments would drop down significantly to $5,630. And that's a difference of almost $670 in your monthly payment, again, just over a three month period. So you can see when interest rates drop, it makes a giant difference in terms of affordability for buyers, much more than if you see home prices go up or down by 5 or 10%. Now buyers, I realize as I'm saying this, home prices are still expensive. You still have interest rates in the sixes, which you might've been used to rates down in the twos and threes during COVID. So they might still seem expensive. However, we are headed in the right direction. Whenever affordability is improving for buyers, it's always a good thing. And right now it's definitely significantly improved over the last couple of months. So if you are in a position to be able to afford that monthly payment, which I know a lot of people still aren't right now, it is definitely a good idea to talk to a lender, especially maybe you talked to a lender at the beginning of summer and it was just not affordable for you to purchase a home. It's a good time to reach out to them again, have them run the numbers because of the interest rate drop. You might now be able to afford that home that you couldn't at the beginning of summer. So right now, buyers have a lot of homes to choose from. Affordability is improving. However, just know that inventory tends to start falling over the next couple of weeks as people pull their homes off the market. So I do expect choices to get a little bit more limited over these next couple of weeks, especially if interest rates do continue dropping because more and more buyers are going to start entering the market to take advantage of those. And you're going to see the market start heating back up again if we see interest rates continue to drop. So for buyers who are able to afford a home right now, there is this window of opportunity that you can take advantage of to be able to find your dream home, have plenty of selection, and to be able to get a little bit more affordable than it has been over the last couple months and even over the last year. Interest rates at 6.4%, we haven't seen rates that low since April of 2023. So it's definitely something that we haven't seen in a while. Now, if you've been thinking of selling a home, when interest rates drop, demand starts to go back up again. So if you're thinking it's too late in the year to be able to put my home on the market and get it sold, that is definitely not true, especially if rates continue this downward trend. Even if they stay around the 6.4%, that's a significant improvement and more and more buyers are going to enter the market. So again, for sellers, if you are trying to sell your home, as long as you try to make your home as move-in ready as possible, you price it correctly, and you have a great marketing strategy that takes advantage of all the different types of marketing and channels you can go through, then you can still have a very good chance of selling your home at a premium right now because home prices are not falling in Orange County in general right now. So as long as you do all those things, there's still a good chance that you can set a record for your neighborhood if you have the right type of home that most buyers are looking for right now. Now, if you do have a home that does need a lot of work or a home that's over $2 million, you just need to go into the process understanding that you're most likely not going to get multiple offers during that first weekend. Even if you price it correctly right now, because a lot of buyers have so many options to choose from, they might not be interested in placing a very competitive offer at least the first week the house is on the market. They might try to look at a couple other homes before deciding on yours. So you just have to be patient and as long as it's priced correctly, it will sell. It just might take a few weeks and instead of doing it instantly and getting multiple offers after that first weekend. Now, two other things I wanna bring up. It is the month of August, which means the new real estate commission law goes into effect on August 17th. Here in Orange County, it's actually going to start on August 13th. Now, if you're not familiar with how commissions are going to change, especially on the buyer's side, you need to make sure you understand that before you get in the market. Now, I'm not gonna cover it here today because I've had a couple different episodes about that. So if you wanna learn all about the different changes coming up and how to navigate that as both a buyer and a seller, you can check out right up here where I put a video and has all the latest information on exactly what's going to happen and how you can best navigate this new market and this new commission structure that we're going to be in starting on August 13th in Orange County. 
Now, if you are thinking of buying your song at home, but you just need some more personalized advice based on your specific situation, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. You can look at the link below in the description and set up a discovery call with me. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes. You can go over your situation and we can come up with a game plan to help get you where you want to be. Whether you're thinking of buying a home in a month or even a year or two, if you want to have that plan in place, it's a great way to start the process. So hit that link and you can schedule either over Zoom, on a phone call or in person and we can get that game plan ready for you so you know exactly how to get to your real estate goals. Now if you are thinking of buying or selling a home over the next couple months and you want some more advice, if you're buying a home and you're watching this on YouTube, I would definitely check out this video right here because it goes over the top five things that you can be doing when placing an offer that has nothing to do with the price. And on the selling side of things, here are the top five mistakes that sellers are making before they place their house in the market that you'll want to avoid to make sure you're getting the most amount of money for your home. Now, until next week, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next show. Bye, everybody.